Republican Steve Lonigan likes to push buttons. He is now finding that, when it comes to Newark at least, he's going to get pushed back. At a press conference in the city yesterday, Lonigan tried to call out his opponent, Cory Booker, for letting this property Booker owned until recently to fall into disrepair. But before he could get going, Lonigan was shouted down by a group who told him to get lost. This building is a disgrace. Cassandra Dock, an anti-Booker activist who was with Lonigan at the press conference yesterday, said she was disappointed in her fellow Newarkers. I found it to be offensive, the way those gentlemen were behaving yesterday, without allowing Mr. Lonigan to, uh, to uh, present the facts. And it is a fact. He owned this property. I thought it was uh, a disservice to the uh, rest of the residents and people who need to hear this. At least one of the men in the group was identified as being employed by Fathers Now, a community group with offices here on Broad Street. No one from the group would speak to us today and referred us to Newark Now, the nonprofit founded and partially funded by Cory Booker. They wouldn't talk to us either. Booker's office said they sold the building to Newark Now for a dollar back in March. Donna Jackson, another Booker critic, said she applauded Lonigan for drawing attention to the city's problems. Unfortunately, in this community, we've been hurt so long that um, some of us believe the craziness. Those same young men that were standing here yesterday, I bet you every one of them, probably with the exception of the young man who works directly for Mr. Booker and is in his favor all the time, could probably use a place to live. Lonigan laughed off the incident today. Do we have any visitors from Newark now or... He also dismissed charges by Booker that the former Bogota mayor uses code language like crack house to reinforce negative stereotypes of Newark. Crack house, methadone, amphetamine house, heroin house, well, you know, whatever drug. He, he's the gentleman who invites drug pushers over to his home. Lonigan was shouted down in similar fashion a couple of weeks ago when he held a press conference during the city's recent rash of homicides. So yesterday's reaction did not come as a surprise. Cory Booker came into office decrying the very tactics he is now accused of at least tacitly endorsing. His campaign said that they didn't send anyone to disrupt Steve Lonigan's press conference, but wouldn't say that they'll discourage anyone from doing it in the future, reasoning that if you come to the city to exploit its problems, this is the reaction you're likely to get. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.